This week on Beyond 2000, engine tune-ups by radio control, visual education and the war against drugs, crash courses in crisis management, and Ian Finlay files a special report on research into the melting of the polar ice cap. With the enormous impact humans are having on the atmosphere, coastal cities just may be under threat. But first, here's Simon. Um, <clears throat> but here's Simon. Feet around this office, but the last thing I expected on my first story was to be belting around a racetrack at 250 kilometres an hour. Motor racing. Big dollars and big thrills, where speed and skill make the adrenaline rush for both driver and spectator. But as with many sports, technology is taking on a far more significant role. Take the wheel of this Nissan Skyline Turbo and you might be driving the race car of the future. It's not so much the car as what's in it that sets it apart from the rest. Netcom, an Australian data communications company, has developed the world's first computer error correcting, monitoring and control system for race cars. The racing modem system, as they've called it, allows real-time digital monitoring and analysis of the car's performance using radio wave links, intelligent modems, and personal computers. Well, that was really something. For Dennis, it's enough to have to worry about the track and winning the race, let alone checking on how the car's running. 22 sensors are placed around the car, scanning everything from engine, oil and water temperature to fuel pressure, even tyre temperatures. Most racing teams have some form of engine management system, but nothing to compare with a process like this. The pit crew can monitor and even control the car's complex working parts while the car is on the racetrack. So in effect, the responsibility for the running of the car is handed over to the computer, which in this case literally becomes a backseat driver. It's here where the information is logged and then transferred back to the main base via the radio wave links. There's even a detonation sensor in the engine which will warn the driver of an engine blow. The racing modem system was the talk of the track at its first official public showing. The reward for months of back-breaking work. Murray Carter and Dennis Hawley, the Netcom driving team, were ecstatic. Basically Simon takes the, the guesswork uh, out of motorsport, certainly makes our test time more efficient and increases our safety factor enormously. In what sort of ways? With our monitoring of our engine system, our turbo plant, and particularly our, our tyres, uh, the engineers now know the choice of tyre, when it's going off, and uh, to eliminate blowouts and uh, mishaps on the race track. The potential savings and early warning capabilities of this system are limitless. Any number of complications can be avoided if a problem is identified before it becomes a disaster. Ironically, the system was developed for data communication in remote locations, such as survey teams or ships at sea. But there is no better test bed than the gruelling environment of the racetrack. The information is coming back via the sensors and via the computer through the radio wave link into this computer here. As you can see on the screen at, at the moment, most of the temperature gauges are reporting in fairly normal with oil temperature at 110 degrees Celsius and water temperature at 80 degrees Celsius. Up here we can see the gear sensors. Dennis is in third gear at the moment 
at around about 110, 20, 110, down to 70 kilometers an hour in a tight part of the course. He's decelerating on a left-hand corner with the Taco running at around about 4,500 revs per minute, down to 3,000. But the sensor that everyone has to watch out for, as we've already mentioned, is the detonation sensor. Because when this little guy starts to flash red, that's when you have to call out the tow truck. On this day, there was no need for that. Across the line, the Netcom Nissan was placed a creditable fifth behind some of the bigger name, bigger budget teams, with the advantage of having a complete digital record of the race for future analysis. The racing modem system is a sort of winged keel of the motor racing industry, so far advanced that there are no official rules for it, not yet. After all, whoever imagined you could tune a car while it was going at 270 kilometers per hour? Formula One teams to stock car teams have expressed an interest in using such a system in future. After all, look what happened to 12 meter yacht racing after Ben Lexon's keel. Up next, scientists prepare for the polar meltdown. <laughs>